I would like to talk to you about math portfolios. In this class, you will be creating a math portfolio for you to keep at the end of the class. This will be worked on all year long, and I have a lot of questions when the students first started. We've been doing it for years, and it's been a wonderful, wonderful tool for students. So the first question is, what is a math portfolio? Well, basically, your math portfolio is a collection of notes as well as a summary of the material covered in the class. When you get done with this math portfolio, you will have all the notes, all your work, and you will have really some cool things that you've come up with in this one notebook. When you're done with this, you will look at it and say, wow, I really made this. And you'll be working on it all year long, and it will come so much in handy when you go to college or your next math class. I've had students over the years that have kind of grumbled doing it, and they've come back and thanked me for doing this because it's been so useful to them. Why do it? Well, I kind of alluded to one is that it'll be very useful. But basically, it's a, a convenient way to have all your notes and work in one place. And you can use it at a, a future date. How do I start? Well, you need to get a two inch three ring binder, something about this size. This is a math portfolio that a student had done of mine. It's quite large because you're going to have your notes in here and it's quite thick, okay? Think of a theme that interests you. This math portfolio that was done by a, few, a student of mine um, before, she picked all the cities of the country she was from. So every single unit that she put in here was a different city. Review the rubric on the website to show you what to do, and then be creative. Let me give you some examples of some of the awesome portfolios I've had over the years. I had a student who was a music major, and his portfolio was in black and white, and he had piano keys on the side, and each section was a part of the math. And as you go into each section, you're going to summarize everything that you've learned, use whatever interests you, sports, music, um, I had a girl who really, really liked Harry Potter. She made her, her um, portfolio look like that monster book that would eat everything, and it was covered in felt, and each chapter was a Harry Potter um, character of the movie. I've had so many wonderful things, sports and whatever. And then everybody, when they get done, they look at it and say, wow, I made this, and they used color, and it was very creative. And then they go to college, I've had parents have to mail it to them because they needed it. Because you don't take math sometimes right away when you go to college. And you're going to forget some of the stuff you learned. And you know it's in your math portfolio. It's a very useful way. And it's also fun. I've had kids who've had so much fun just making um, their units of each unit and summarizing everything they've learned. So this will be part of the course. We will start it a few weeks into the, into the course, and then you will be working on it the entire year. And at the end of the year, you'll get a final grade for it, and it will be something that you will really enjoy doing, believe it or not, and you will find useful in the future.